this plant here is kind of ice plant called Mesambrianthemum crystallinum. You can see it had a very successful flowering season. These are the remaining seed pods. And so there are all sorts of, um, the seeds are maturing actually right now. And so next season, we're going to have many more of these, which is not a good thing because this is not a native plant. It's from, presumably it's from South Africa and it tends to take over the entire surface as you can see here and prevents the germination and growth of the native plants. This is one of the things that we have people weeding out in limited areas. There's too much of it here to do by hand. And here you can see a plant that does fine at this time of year. This is this yellow flowering tarweed, Hemizonia fasciculatum. Oh, it's being visited by a, a bee right now, or possibly a bee fly. I think that this is actually a bee mimic. It's a fly that looks a little bit like a bee. It's got some striping on its body. There's an actual honey bee collecting pollen. This plant is obviously really important for native bees and pollinators as well as the non-native honeybees because it's flowering at this time of year when many plants as we've seen are dried up. So here you can see intact closed canopy coastal sage scrub, a south facing slope in front of us where you can see buckwheat in flower with the red flower heads. And there's cactus. This habitat is actually a subset of coastal sage scrub called maritime succulent scrub. That's to say it's coastal and the succulents are basically cactus and some members of the everlasting family or Dudleyas. So here you can see Opuntia prolifera, this columnar cactus. And then there's a cactus over here, which is a, a flat cactus with pads. On the opposite side of the canyon, this is Sumner Canyon here. It's actually privately owned. It's licensed to the natural reserve system. The north facing slope is obviously more moist or mesic and is dominated by shrubs like the lemonade berry that remain green year round. So here are some more members of the maritime succulent scrub community. This is ferrocactus viridescens. This is the coastal form of the barrel cactus. And it's considered a sensitive species, uh, largely because of development that has wiped out its habitat. But here you can see this form is very low growing. In, in fact, it's pretty much hidden under the, the ground here. There's some slightly more emergent ones over there. And we also have Dudleya edulis, or lady fingers, in the foreground. And some other flat opuntia over there, standing with bunch grass. So you, here's and this incredible community of shrubs and succulents that's um, unique to coastal San Diego County. These are the flowering stalks of chalk leaf Dudleya, Dudleya pulverulenta.